Hello, in this video I'm going to show you where all 25 workbenches are in The Last of Us Part 2. When you find and interact with all of these benches you'll get the prepared for the worst trophy and you also knock them off your collectibles list on the game. Before we go any further, if you do like this video and you do use it to guide you, please do hit that like button and consider hitting subscribe for more content from myself. Uh, once you're finished, if you check out the video description, I also have a link to my playlist with all of my The Last of Us Part 2 content. Your first workbench is very early on in the game in the Jackson chapter. Yeah, about mid-chapter you're going to come to this point where you're going to throw this rope up above and then you're going to climb the rope. You will go on horseback for a little bit and you're going to stop and you come to this building. So once you're off in this building have a good look around and continue forward with the, with the chapter. There'll be a point that you need to power on this generator. At this point, just look straight ahead after you've done that and you'll see your first workbench. Now with these workbenches, you do need to interact with them, so make sure you do that. If you don't, it won't count towards a trophy and it won't count towards it being the collectible. There are four workbenches to find in the chapter Seattle Day 1. Uh, the first one you can find is in, in the downtown area where you've got to search the area, visit question marks on the map that Ellie draws on. Well, one of the locations is this music store and if you go upstairs you get to play the guitar. Uh, you'll get a cutscene if you do that. And once you've done that, what you want to do is head out of the window on this top floor. You'll come out onto this ledge and I'll just bring up the map so you can see exactly where I am. So you just need to get yourself into this location and then follow the walkway around. If you follow it around you'll find a workbench. You'll come up to this tent. I'm just going to show you the map again just so you can pinpoint the location. Just know that question mark there. Head inside the tent and you'll find a workbench in the corner. During the Capitol Hill chapter, you're going to be going through this area here and you'll uh, no doubt notice this big petrol station. Just head to the left entrance here and get into the garage and you'll find a workbench just behind the door. The next workbench is again in the Capitol Hill segment of the chapter. Just look out for this dead horse. Soon after, you're going to be dodging explosions, so be careful, but you're heading towards this martial arts building here, which is to my right. Just uh, navigate through the explosions until you get to this front window here and make your way into the building. You'll find this workbench in the back room here, uh, just be sure to interact with it. The final workbench in the Seattle Day 1 chapter is in the tunnel segment, and you need to look out for this part here where you come into this room and there's a zombie hanging through the window. As you push forward and you go up these ladders, just head to that blue door over to the right there. Inside this door, you'll find workbench number 5. You have four more workbenches to find in the Seattle Day 2 chapter. The first one can be found shortly after you exit the theatre in one of the first cutscenes. You'll soon be at Hillcrest, which is the start of this chapter. Just head over to the right past this fan that you can see on the right here, and you'll see a building in front of you. Behind the counter in this building is a hole in the wall. Just go through there and you'll find the workbench. I haven't got my torch on here so I'm sorry it's dark. But you'll see it right in front of you. The second bench is also in Hillcrest. So just carry on with the chapter until you get to this part where you've got to use the trash can to get up this wall. Just drop down and over and the workbench will be right in front of you. Towards the end of this chapter, you're going to be in the Seraphite segment of the chapter, and you'll be in this area. There's quite a lot of buildings to go in and loot here, and there's also going to be a workbench. You are looking for an apartment building, and it's just over here. You'll notice it because this big brown door and the truck outside. If you interact with the door, you're not able to get in it. So instead of interacting with the door, head to the right here, and you'll notice this window that you can climb through. You'll be in the laundry room. From the laundry room, just head upstairs, and as soon as you get to the top, just go to the right. The crafting bench is right in front of you. Be sure to interact with it, and there might be a pleasant surprise. In the same segment of this chapter, you're going to run across this roof and have to climb down this ladder. You know it'll be this ladder, because at the bottom, you're going to need to drop into a pool of water. Continue forward and head into Weston's Pharmacy. And once inside, just find this hole in the wall and go through it. And then in this secret room, you'll find a safe and also this workbench. We're now on the Seattle Day 3 chapter and there are four more workbenches to go and find. You'll get to this blockage in the road, just head right and head through this passage. Once inside, just look for this door that you need to crawl under. You'll find your 10th workbench just in here. The second workbench is in the same segment of the chapter. You'll come up to this light muddy hill where you need to climb this stone structure at the end. Just climb up this first step and then turn immediately left. You're going to see this doorway. Climb up this second step here and turn left again. All you need to do now is continue forward and you'll find your workbench in the far corner. 
Midway through Seattle Day 3, you'll be in the Flooded City segment. And just in this area here, you're going to have a couple of buildings about. And you'll see the Seattle Sleep just in front of you here. Start going towards it, but turn left. If you don't turn left, you might crash into this barbed wire like I did. I'm not sure if you can carry on going straight there or not. But notice I just did a U-turn. Left to this warehouse is where you want to be. Straight in front of you here is just a place where you can park your boat. So just park that up there, get off and just walk inside. Now this is the 12th workbench of this playthrough. So just interact with this workbench here and the trophy for the 12th workbench will pop up. The next workbench is still in this flooded city segment and you have to go for a bit where you smash through this window and there's a gate in front of you. You can't progress until you sort this little puzzle out. Head upstairs in this building and you'll come to this area here and as you can see the workbench is just here on the right hand side. We're now on to Abby's version of Seattle Day 1. Uh, right at the start of this chapter will be the on foot segment and you'll come to this bit here where you've got to interact with this big wardrobe to allow the door to open to let Mel in. From this scene, as soon as you're out of it, just head through this door here and continue straight on. And in this area here, even though it's dark, you'll see the workbench right in front of you. The next workbench is at this segment of the chapter here, still close to the start, it's called the forward base. You'll notice all the tents about and a lot of people. On your way around, just keep an eye out for the first tent on the left, as you'll find this workbench just inside there. This next workbench is in the hostile territory part of this chapter. You have to go and crawl under this here, and you'll have to move this obstacle out of the way. As soon as you are through this head left, you'll come through this like double doorway here and the uh, workbench is just on the left side of the room here. This workbench is towards the end of the chapter now in the forest segment of the chapter and you'll come to this cutscene here. As soon as this cutscene is over, there's a garage door in front of you like an auto garage. You just need to go and open the door and head on inside. You must go this way to progress with the mission anyway. As soon as the door shuts behind you, look over to the left and here is the workbench. The final segment to this chapter is called the coast and you have to climb over this container to jump over this gate. Make sure you like really look around the next area. If you kind of like go straight forward to the right, there'll be a red container with some loot in like painkillers. Just kind of like go straight on from that and you're going to find this white door. If you come into this white door, you'll find a workbench. There are two workbenches in Abby's version of Seattle Day 2. Uh, you'll be at this point here where you're hopping over rocks. Once you're here, just jump over this car and you'll be close to the first workbench. Once you make this jump here, just look to the right and you're going to notice a building that you can go into. And the workbench is just in the back left corner. So just spin around, head to that corner and you'll be able to interact with it. The second workbench is a little bit further on when you're going to be climbing these ladders. When you get to this point, you come over this lip, turn, in, turn left into the room, you'll see this like statue or portrait in front of you. Uh, head to the right here, you'll notice this door, and the workbench is just through here. Keep on going past the ladder, and it's on the back wall. The next workbench is about midway through the chapter in the segment called Ground Zero. You'll be fighting a lot of zombies, including this one here. But you want to look out for this here. A bed on a corridor with a surgery sort of like um, thing up behind it. There's a little opening to the left there of a window. And if you look up, you've got a hole in the ceiling. Jump through this and drop down. In this area here, you're now close to another workbench. Don't head right like I did. Just do a 180 there. You'll see this door. Walk through and the workbench is right in front of you. We've now got four workbenches to go and we're now on the next chapter which is Seattle Day 3 as Abby. Uh, you want to get onto the island part of the chapter and you'll know you're there when you see this sort of cutscene here. Just walk a little further and you'll come up to this hut just over on the left there. Walk through the double doors and the, uh, sorry, the workbench is right in front of you. The next workbench is in the escape segment of this chapter. You're going to come up to these ladders here and you're going to need a hand to get up them. As soon as you're at the top of the ladders, just head right and jump through this window here through the wall and you're going to find this workbench. There's only two more workbenches to go after this one's been found. And for both of these workbenches, you're going to want to be on the Santa Barbara chapter. The first one is here when you're with Ellie again and you're at this house. There's a zombie at the top of the house. Just take care of him and make your way inside. Once you've cleared out the house, you'll find the workbench in the downstairs of the building. And the 25th and final workbench can be found when you're heading towards this tall round building. Keep moving forward until you have to pass this fencing. 
And then once you've cleared the area, just come to this area where I am now in the middle. Head inside here to find your final workbench. This is the 25th one. And the trophy will pop up when you interact with this called Prepared for the Worst. That's for finding all workbenches. And I hope this guide did help you. If it did, do hit like. Consider hitting subscribe and share it where you can. And you can find the link to my playlist for all of the Last of Us Part 2 content that I do in, in the video description. So go check that out. Until the next video, thank you for watching this one and peace out.